Ahaba and blessings. Happy Magdalene Monday. Today is a very powerful day as we are in the midst of a beautiful planetary alignment and that's not all. The earth is being bombarded by plasma rays from the sun. So it is a very highly energetic time. So the planets that are in alignment are um, Jupiter, Uranus, Mars, Mercury, and Chiron, as well as Saturn. So this is a beautiful time and a very potent time. We are in the waning phase of the moon. So this is a powerful time for deep introspection and deep healing. Now, in order for us to seed intentions of what we wish to manifest into our physical reality, we must clear the space. We must purify. We must shed the layers that no longer serve us. And I am reminded of a myth about the goddess Isis. And I've noticed that my older video on the goddess Isis has been watched quite a few times and I'm thinking of redoing it as my understanding of this goddess is has deepened over time as with anything of course so I'm reminded of and this card came up for me when I did my pyramid of Isis Reiki attunement so I have quite a number of activations and attunements to different forms of Reiki and energy healing, Essene, Egyptian, etc. And this card came up for me in this attunement, which was about a month ago. And this energy was very powerful to work with. And it was Isis and the seven scorpions. So the myth of Isis is, well, the, uh, this particular myth of Isis has to do with her basically, with her fleeing the persecution of Set, who had just murdered her husband Osiris, and she was hiding with her son Horus, and she was of course in disguise, so she was very disheveled, she wasn't in her usual goddess splendor, and she, one of her goddess sisters, had sent seven scorpions to guard her and Horus, and these scorpions were very, very diligent in their protection and their devotion to their mistress, the goddess Isis. So the goddess Isis emerged from the shores of, um, of the Nile and she goes to this grandiose house and the noble woman there sees this ragged woman, doesn't know her status, doesn't know she's the goddess Isis, and sees these scorpions, you would think that something would click because why would scorpions be guarding someone who's irrelevant, so to speak? Not that any human being really is irrelevant, but her own arrogance got the better of her and she slammed the door in Isis's face. And as she slammed the door in Isis's face, the scorpions, particularly one of them, got really, really pissed and all of them were mad. So then she goes to a smaller, very humble hut and the woman who basically had very little decides to take her in and takes her in, takes the child in, the scorpions are fine. Meanwhile, the scorpions are, while they're on their guard duty, one of them tells the others, okay, well, we're going to get back at that woman who slammed the door in our mistress's face. And he extracts the poison from every single one of his companions. And so now this is a supercharged scorpion. And he goes back to the house and he decides that he's going to sting the child um, of this noble woman. And this is all unbeknownst to Isis. And my husky is right over there, just being herself. <laughs> so this, this happens all unbeknownst to Isis. And all of a sudden, there's this rampant screaming of this older woman, of this noble woman, because her child has just been stinged and is stung and is on the verge of death. And Isis, hearing everything, because she's a goddess and she can hear the pain and, and the, the suffering, she runs out and she 
realizes what happened that one of her scorpions took it upon himself to avenge her even though Isis really was like okay whatever about it and she names every scorpion including the the major one the one that you know took the basically took the impetus to take the venom from all the other scorpions and um, compo compound it into a super venom she names every single one of them all of the seven scorpions and as she names them the poison starts seeping out and is transmuted by her naming the scorpions now what does this have to do with us you can the number seven is very very important it's a number of initiation it's a number of the goddess um, it is you notice it it's the seven physical chakras it is no, known as the seven demons that um, Yeshua cleansed from Mary Magdalene. So the number seven comes up again and again and again. So what does this cleansing of the chakras, removing of the demons, removing of the poison, what does this mean to us? What this means is that we ourselves have the ability by naming our traumas, our poisons, our demons, to neutralize, that's the word, to neutralize their effect on our lives. Because when we are going about our day completely unaware of the, the, the programs, the patterns, the limiting beliefs that are running in our psyche, in our subconscious, when we're unaware of these, we act from those impulses. We create our reality to basically mirror our own unhappiness or our own suffering and we attract more of that but when we take the time to name to acknowledge and to speak that thing that haunts us then no longer hold sway over us or over our creations that means that we can create with the infinite light of creation that we align to that we are and all these demons no longer hold power over us or over our creations so because we are in the new moon portal we are waning that means this is the perfect time for healing for really acknowledging these parts of ourselves and not allowing them to control us anymore. And how do we allow them to not control us? We name them, we face them, we acknowledge them, and we let them go. So let's join in a beautiful little sound activation to clear, to cleanse, to purify, and to allow ourselves to align into healing, into love, into wholeness, into oneness, into peace.
have a beautiful Magdalene Monday, have a beautiful rest of your week, and remember that we are always creating our reality, so let's do it consciously and with full awareness and full awareness of our power. Have a blessed day. If you enjoyed this, like, subscribe, share with like-minded people, comment below. Let me know what came up and how you received this. Ah, bye.